You two generations. Yeah. 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 Control of another Three. with the rolling of thunder. Two. It was hypnotizing so now. I fall into the side yeah. of your eye. We start the show. To my was burning up. Sweet dog. Yeah, dope. So, um. Yeah, man. What 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 do you get up to? What do you kind of like do um, for a day job or whatever? And 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 what's and what what do you get up to with gardening and stuff? Yeah, man. Uh, pretty much um, unemployed since November. So kind of oh, just yeah. like yeah, been just uh, like. Is that because of know. COVID? Yeah, yeah. Because of COVID, I got I got laid off. I. Uh, before that, I did marketing for Ford for five years. Wow. Um, nice. And then, yeah, I got laid off November. Honestly, best thing that ever happened. Not yeah. A lie. Yeah, it's been amazing, dude. Like, I kind of, I spent a lot of time fucking around mm. um, the first, the first half. But uh, this, like, second half, I, I definitely want to, like, push it and, you know, just, like, <laughs> create my own thing and not ever have to, like, work for somebody ever again. So I'm kind of just, like really going going off for that and like trying to pursue that and really fulfill what i want to do which is you know open up a, a coffee shop slash plant shop hybrid um here in town sick man yeah. that's cool just just real quick what 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 kind of um marketing did you do at ford uh it was internet based so it was like uh like internet um like flyers and things like that it was for a local dealership here in town oh sick man that's that's cool but at least you have some like marketing experience to feed into your um to your passion now right yeah yeah definitely i would i would like to think that uh life puts us in like situations that um are gonna teach us something always so i'm very grateful for it i mean it, it did a lot for me um you know like but i i don't like corporate america so yeah i'm or just like corporate corporate worlds in general you know yeah yeah that yeah i know what you mean man it's uh it's a weird world eh? yeah i'm doing like art directing oh yeah um, yeah dude I've, I've i've been following you for a minute and like all the the stuff that you post dude it's fucking sick yeah thanks really bro. Sick. yeah like all the behind the scenes stuff appreciate that eh? appreciate that but yeah, so you want to do the shop, bro? What what's um, what's the what what's the plan? What's the reality of it all? What 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 what's the moves? So I uh, just been looking for for a space, honestly. You know, like um, just fulfilling the space. Like I know that I know the plant world very well. Yeah. Um, but like as far as like the coffee aspect of it, I don't know that like area super super well. Mm -hmm. Um. But I want to do something where it's like, I don't want just a plant shop. You know what I mean? I want like different like uh, like types of like income and revenue and, and and things like that all in one house. Yeah. Um, but finding the space has been the hardest thing, dude. Honestly, and like, you know, um, I'm trying to keep it under like a certain budget and things like that. But where are you based again? Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. A L B U K New Mexico. Yes, sir. Wow. Um, and then just kind of see where it goes from there. Yeah. But it, I mean, it, it, it's definitely in like the very early stages of planning it. But I would like to, if if that's if that space doesn't work out, like I would ideally have le love to have a space before the year ends. Yeah, bro, that would be sick before the year end. That's a good plan. Yeah. And um, so you focus on indoor plants, yeah? Yes. Yeah, man, indoor plants is a big market, eh? People love them, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and I love them too, so it's just, I feel like it's something organically, you know, that's kind of just like happened over time. I don't really know how it started, but um, 
but yeah I, I always tell myself there are like worse addictions that i could have you know yes sir. i i take photos as well so i have I, yeah i, have I thought so i have lighting yeah I, ha I have all of that but i um i used to do digital uh like maybe like i want to say like eight years ago but i i transitioned from digital to film photography just like 35 millimeter that's uh that's like the medium that i mainly focus on yeah yeah definitely man i, I appreciate you as well I, I mean this is uh i've been wanting to do this for a while you know mm -hmm. and um yeah i i appreciate you taking the time to to reach out and you know yeah bro no nah, i appreciate you just being down there eh? like we're like it's sick you know we're um across the world like from each other and we're just Straight like up dude sharing this passion of just like of, of just um you know like we you call it plants but it's so much more than that you know it's like growing things it's about growing something green and life and something that's like good for the world right yeah definitely man I, how i put it is just like it's a great reminder of like what the world is you know mm. and just like i don't know we're just like in this gridlock or at least here we're like in this gridlock of like buildings and just shit and just like disconnected from like what we truly are as like a human race yeah and um i don't know it's just like it's not it's not like you can go to the mountains and things like that but it's not like something that you can do every day not the average person at least so mm. i don't know plants just like uh they they're nice man and, and just like taking care of something else and like getting that stillness of just like um that like what is it like that groove state or is that the, is that the right word no that flow state of just like taking care of something else yeah yeah absolutely yay jeez yeah man taking care of something else that's there's something special right there you know you can learn so much from it for sure dude the process behind everything man that's why i really got into like film too just because like mm -hmm. i process all of my own film and stuff like that so it's yeah. just like slowing everything down you know yeah yeah true that's nice man it's a good way to go um to go about it slowing things down getting reconnected eh? yeah um just real quickly on um indoor um plants what are some like just what what's something like just off the top of your head that you'd love to um look at the kitchen right this is our best spot no it's not that you love about like indoor plants uh i would say just watching them grow honestly and mm. it's just like um because dude when you think about it they can grow forever mm. like i have i have uh i'm always on craigslist i don't know if you guys have craigslist over there no nah, we but... don't we have we have something like it could trade me though but yeah okay, cool so I, I always be on Craigslist, man, just like looking up plants, you know, just like yeah. trying to trying to trying to get plants off of people that have been alive for like a long time mm. um, or like estate sales and stuff like that, just to keep keep them going. You know, like people put care into these things like I got a I, got Bro, I a, love that, man. That's sick. Yeah. Like I got a it's a succulent, man, but it's it's like 16 feet tall. What? Uh, yeah you gotta get some footage of that bro for sure yeah dude for sure it, it's a succulent it's about 16 feet tall but i got it at an estate sale man so it was like uh it was like this this family's father that had died and and they were like selling these things and there was this huge plant and i was like hey like you know would you guys be interested in selling it mm. and they were um but they were just like super uh like they they just really wanted it to be taken care of they said that it had been a, been alive for 60 years wow it had done, yeah it had done uh like two moves with them across the state um yeah and i was just like yeah man like i will fucking definitely keep this going for another you know 60 70 years as long as i can um what um how much did they charge you for it? dude it was only 40 bucks bro what the hell yeah man i'm telling you craigslist i just got this thing crazy. on craig on craigslist monstera yeah she's a she's a big she's a big guy and Bro, then, um you know the nodes can can uh, you know the nodes um that on monsteras 
that come off the Irving nodes, man, you got a lot of plants. Yeah. Um, apparently you can put those earthing nodes in water. And they'll sprout? Nah, they won't sprout, but they'll they'll give f uh, increased growth to the plant. Okay. I don't know. I saw it on TikTok, but I'll do some research and get back to you. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, you got some sick plants, man. How much was that Monstera? The big one you just got? Uh, that one, that one was a hundred bucks. Dude, that would be like, yeah. I so mean, that, I got, that, that's already 200 or 250 New Zealand, but that would be like yeah. 600 bucks in New Zealand, that Monstera. Dude, I got this one. This one's like over six feet tall, way bigger than that other one. I got it for uh, 80 bucks. Wow, yo, yeah, that's sick. I love yeah, it, bro. Dude. You're like the you're like the plant thrift king as well, dude. Straight up, man. I love a good bargain, bro. I love a good deal. Nah, I'm all about that, eh? Because you know, you got to make it easy as well for people to see that it's like cheap to get in plants too. Straight up, man. And that and that's what I really want to facilitate with the plant shop is like, because mm. because there's there's plant shops here, you know what I mean? But but certain certain plant shops that are like not nurseries that are like you know owned by a person um they're just taxing they're what sorry they're they're taxing they're just like upselling them like crazy oh so what you what do you want to do what, what what's what's the difference between you and them i want to make it more affordable so you want to make it like real accessible to for plants yeah Man, you're like my brother, right? Eh? You're. Have you ever heard the saying, um, uh, "You're a man after"? What is it, my? Uh, after what is it? Something like something after my. Oh, I don't know. I'll think of the saying. It's like a saying about um, someone that you meet that you think thinks like you. But um, yeah, man, that's so sick. So you're trying to like, you know, like lower the barriers for people to get into this beautiful world, right? This like plant life. Yeah, because when you think about it, or at least when I think about it, is there's like a lot of younger people, um, you know, like at, like around this age, like starting to get like their spaces and things like that. And, you know, really, really maybe wanting to dive into that world. But it's not, you know, it's not you go to these stores and they have, you know, X plant, like let's say a Monstera and, and it's a baby and they're charging like maybe like $80 for it or something like that. Yeah. And like price wise, like. Like I, I get, I get people and like businesses have to make money, but I don't think that that is the only way if that makes sense. That's so cool. I reckon you'll get like a real interesting audience, you know, of people interested in your shop. You'll meet so many interesting people, man, young and old, you know? Yeah. As soon as yeah. the oldies hear about your shop there, they love the bargains. So. Dude, straight up, man. Yeah. I, I go I go to this plant shop here and dude, there's like this lady there. I, I, I see her as my grandma because mm. she's so nice and so knowledgeable, man. It's insane. Like I, I, I definitely look up to her. I want to hang out with her. Honestly, I want her to be my friend, but I don't know if we're there yet exactly, you know, but <laughs> I don't know. I just I, I just I just get geeked out over plants, man. Like I, I've mm. always, I always have. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's I love that. Hey, I geek out over plants, too. It's, it's such you know, a interesting thing that been very very intrigued um in you know outdoor gardening and like growing like my own vegetables and stuff like that but mm -hmm. it, it it's i know out there it's like it rains a lot right yeah oh so here, yeah 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 here it's it's dry dude it's, dry. it's freaking dry so yeah i mean there there's like a lot of upkeep that comes with that you know always always constantly being like you know um, on watering and stuff like that. Like I, I, I've been trying to grow grass, dude. Mm, got you. It, it all, it all died. It all died. Oh, did it? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna write that down to ask you about that later, because that's real interesting. Because you know they say like, oh, I'd, I'd rather watch grass grow or whatever, you know. But um, yeah. growing, watching any plant grow is interesting, even grass, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And some people uh, were mad grass growers, man. They take real care in their lawn, you know? Yeah. They make it perfect. Yeah, I was yeah, trying to do what I could, but dude, honestly, grass, 
Jesus Christ, man. Not enough water or... Not enough water, yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, man. You gotta try some... Um, there's nothing better than growing your own vegetables and stuff, but there's also nothing better than living with your plants, probably, eh? So... Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, what really got me into wanting to do that, like, I, like I, I think we kind of touched base on it earlier, but just... Uh, Mm. like grow, growing weed in like a controlled environment yeah and that just got me really interested in like you know native plants that don't normally grow here that i could potentially grow there like you know year round yeah um so i would like love in to a get grow house there. exactly yeah that's so i would love love to get back into that at some point hmm yeah man um i'd i'd love to um chat to you more about the grow house stuff because i can't even run my grow my grow house um, i'll talk to you um again soon i'll just keep in contact with you so like what what have you been up to bro like tell me what's your relationship to like plants and like what is indefinite and like what is yeah what's your relationship to plants what's indefinite cool yeah man uh been in the plants for a very long time just you know started accumulating them once i like moved out got yeah. a spot of my own just uh you know really starting started getting into plants a lot um i i was always really into them but i think it all took off when i got like more more of a stable space um and just like you know, I, I could I could have my plants here. I didn't have to really like move them around and worry about stressing them out. So, uh, yeah, it all kind of just started from like being on my own and you know just wanting a piece of nature uh, with me at all times. Oh yeah, that's nice, man. Because I feel like that's why people get into indoor plants is like it's to have that nature with them at all times. Eh? Do you think? Yeah, uh, I that's that's what it is to me personally. Um, but I mean, I could definitely see it as that for other people as well. Just because I mean, it's it's like creating an creating an environment that you're comfortable in, right? Um, and I've always been like uh, interested in nature, so I told myself when I got like a place of my own, I wanted to turn it into like a forest. And that's like my ultimate goal is just like, you know, living amongst like plants. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's it. Oh, I, you, we got that footage of your place, but you can also see your place in the background. There's eh? some crazy stuff going on, man. What's, yeah. like, your, what's like your favorite um, indoor plant? Uh, probably like a pothos. Um, just cause like they're super resilient, uh, very easy to take care of. I think like that's one of the plants that, uh, a lot of people can start off with. Yeah, um, that's good advice, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a pothos cause it's super hard to kill them, man. Honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I guess just talking more about like, why, why do you say it's super hard to kill? Like because you know people are trying to get into gardening and trying to get into like um indoor gardening and let's say like people they say that they kill plants all the time you know like yeah. um what would you say to do differently uh i mean it's gonna vary for everybody right like different yeah. like climates and like stuff like that so yeah. I would say um, safe bet are like pothos, monsteras, uh, just like things like that, um, that'll do really good in indoor spaces. And then you can start to venture off to like more exotic plants, like, uh, like a philodendron or something like that. Um, and just kind of test it out in your space and see how it's gonna do based off of like light. I mean, that's, that's a big thing that you have to take into consideration where you place it in your home. If like a plant needs, um, let's say like a humid environment, what I learned er early on is if you bunch a lot, if you put a lot of plants together, um, it kind of just like starts to create like a humid environment for them. So 
um, if you're going to like get into like more like exotic, like tropical plants, just start to bunch them up and um, they should do pretty well as far as like humidity. Or uh, I've also heard of people like putting um, rocks underneath. Okay. So, so yeah. basically like the, the water drains and um, the pot isn't necessarily sitting directly in the water, uh, yeah. but it has some time to evaporate and go up and create some more humidity for the plants. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, why did indoor plants like humidity? I don't know, because I'm doing something at the moment with my monsteras, and I'm yeah. misting them to create humidity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, do, do you know anything about humidity? Uh, so it's pretty much what I would say is just like, obviously, you know, these plants that we have are not native to our, to our environments for the most part. So it's like recreating um, sort of like the environment that they're used to. Mm. Yeah, 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 true. That's a good point, man. Um, so yeah, like, I guess you're, you're suggesting people to get into like easy plants to look after, eh, to start. And then as you'll get, as you get more confidence and, and, and stuff, you'll and knowledge, I guess you can look into more interesting plants, eh? Yeah, definitely. I think it's all about uh, just getting into like the, um, what is it? Like, not cycle isn't like the right word, but uh, getting into like the routine of like watering your plants and like looking after stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I, I feel like that's, that's gonna be like the main part. Get some plants that are hard to kill um something like uh, you can go to to your nursery ask for something that is like low light or something like that start off with that and then um obviously there are going to be plants that you're going to kill that are going to die but you know it all takes it all takes practice it all takes time um what i'm doing like you know with my plants may not work for some someone else in their environment like due to like light or just like where they are but yeah. Like for the most part, um, I mean, if you have windows and if you can water your plants, like that's really the top two things is having windows and water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, low, mm. low, what's that? No, go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty easy, yeah. Um, what would you say, I mean, like, how did you get into um, plants? Like, what was your kind of first one? I know that you talked about, like, having your own space was a big uh, part of your, um, you know, journey with getting a lot of plants and getting further into it. Um, but was there anything before that? Like, did you have any initial curiosity of plants, like, how did you, um, yeah, how did you really start, yeah, start thinking about plants? Did you have, did you have a little plant before you had your own space or anything? Did you have one or two plants? I had like a few succulent, succulents, but nothing crazy. My mom had like a really big uh, plant in the house. It was like a vine just like spread out through uh, like the kitchen wall. Mm -hmm. um, there's like this like baby picture of me. Yeah. I'm small, I'm, I'm like maybe like, one to two years old and they, yeah. they they like held me they like took a picture picture of me in front of this plant yeah. i don't know what plant it was but i was like dang i was like i saw that recently when i went to my parents house and i was like well it all makes sense now oh that's cool that's yeah. but you my, but my, my brother, man you gotta take a picture of that picture yeah i got you but yeah my mom is like uh like i went to her house recently because i was house sitting for them and um she has like a little garden of her own in the backyard and stuff like that and i was like i was like okay i was like maybe i got it from my mother you know um but yeah it never like really clicked uh but she's not as crazy as me as far as like collecting plants but i mean she definitely has her own little collection and like things that she likes and what um what so that's like the start of your journey um, and you've kind of come all of this way. Uh, you've got all this massive, uh, yeah, do you want to talk anything about the middle of, of your journey? Like, do you want to talk more about what Indefinite um, Studios is or anything? Yeah, so basically uh, Indefinite Studios is like a, it's 
I've, I've been tossing around the idea of like starting a brand, mm. um, something that's not like tied to tied to me or like tied to my name. It's just like its own thing. Yeah. Um, so it looks like it's pretty started, bro. You got yeah, the yeah. Like all the stuff on the t-shirt. It's in the TV there. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, it started um, like three and a half years ago. Okay. I started it. I started it, and then. Oh, you're telling the story from when you're when you're first thinking about starting a brand. Exactly. So okay, first, okay, first started yeah, thinking yeah. about a brand. Um, I thought of the name Indefinite Studios. I, I I got the domain and all of that. I held on to it for a very long time, yeah. and then um, just decided to start it up. And um, my first passion is like photography, so I wanted to do like something with like photos and like graphics. Um, and then just like really get everything in order to create a brand. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that took me a little bit. Like I, I tried to start it and then like I put it on the back burner for like a year, um, for like a year and a half. But now I'm kind of get I'm kind of diving back into it with a better headspace um, and or in order for like just to like facilitate everything that I want to do with that. Yeah, and what 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 um what do you kind of want to do with it? So basically, I just want to start a brand. Um, I want to do like uh just like I, I would love to um make some pants like just ba just like focus on like um things that I like, right? So like it's like gardening and stuff like that. So yeah. just like pants dedicated to like whenever you're out on the garden uh, um, and things cool, like yeah. that. Yeah. And just yeah. like, uh, you know, co collaborate with artists, like close friends that yeah. uh, I really like um, on T-shirts and things like that. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. So and then from. Yeah. Go ahead. That and then nice. from uh, from from Indefinite Studios, I started uh, Power Plant okay. and Power Power Plant is going to be like so Indefinite Studios is going to be more on like the graphic design photo aspect and power plant is going to be focused mainly on plant goods so anything like i would love to uh to like design like my own water pitcher yeah. um you know like uh everything like rolling papers water pitcher freaking uh pots yeah that's sick man that's so sick i'm on that vibe too bro Maybe we can like talk about this a bit more in the future because I'm wanting to do some uh, like gardening gloves um, yeah. and like some other things. Um, yeah, pots and stuff, just like some real simple stuff to get people into gardening. Cause I know sure. that I wrote down here from the first time we talked, you said that you wanted to make gardening real accessible for everyone. Yes. What do you think, man? How how do you how do you think uh, how are you gonna go about doing that? Um, so whenever we had talked, uh, like I mentioned that I I want to start a plant nursery. So it's I, I definitely see it through that. Uh, just like having um, like I want to have like the best pricing in in town in my hometown, right? Which is Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I want to have like the best prices for the plants um, and just things like that. Like uh, I want to get into like um, propagation and stuff like that, just so, you know, I could sell it for less, sell it for like a less price. Yeah. Um, and I think like the main thing with that is going to be like propagation um, mainly and just like sourcing, obviously, yeah. like finding finding like a like a good source um, where I can get my plants. Um, within the last like few weeks, I've been uh, going to like every nursery here in town and just yeah. seeing what their inventory is like and things like that. Um, I met this really really nice lady. Uh, she has a plant shop here called Plant Me Later. Okay. Um, so I, I just. I just talked to her and she she gave me a lot of insight as far as like the like commercial side of it and like getting like wholesale products and stuff like that just uh, stuff that wow. i'm not i'm not too familiarized with mm -hmm. um 
but I mean, it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of, it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of possibilities. Yeah, man, I bet. That's, that, that's so cool that you're getting into it, you know, with the right, um, the right uh, reasons behind it. But I bet you heaps of gardeners do like, you know, like, um, get into it and just find like a way that they eventually want to make money from it but just like still just by gardening stuff just by having yeah. to do with plants yeah um but obviously you're incorporating in different things as well with like um with indefinite um stuff like that i think i've got the recording from when we first talked did i record it you did yeah Oh, dope, dope. So that you explain, I like what you said in that one, like about um, you, you got the uh, Craigslist. Um, you Dude, used the yeah. Craigslist a bit and you had the plant of like heaps of years um, old. Yeah, man, just sourcing. Um, you know, like I, I, I love this at this point. It's, it, it's definitely an obsession, but um, I don't think it's a bad obsession. But yeah, I mean, it, it's like, it's all about where you source your stuff, right? It's like, I can go out to a nursery and buy buy a plant for like, let's say uh, like $120, like I can buy a beautiful plant or I can get on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and source like something that has been like cared for by somebody else that may be like, it, it's not fitting in their space anymore. And, um, you know, they, they love that plant and they, they hate to see it go. Yeah. And that's where I come in because like, I love plants as well. And I want to continue to see them grow. And like, I just want to continue that growth of that plant and just like that love that it had already been receiving. Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, it's like you're rehousing plants. Yeah, pretty um, much. Yeah, and you get like, you know, it's an affordable way of doing it as well, of um, extending your plant collection. And it's interesting because you get to, firstly, you get to meet people, all these interesting yeah. people probably that have different plants. And you get to also, yeah, extend your uh, plant collection. Yeah, and it's, it's a totally different side of it just because you're not going to a nursery, you're not getting like baby plants, you know, you're, you're getting well-established plants that have been around for years like this one that i have right there it's some sort of succulent and we were talking about it and when we when we first talked and i got that uh, and the person that i got it from said it was alive for six years oh wow that's crazy man yeah i wanted to ask you you know what makes you geek out the most with plant uh oh it, I, would, I would say it's just like finding finding a new plant, like a new species that I don't have, you know, so I can, so I can start to incorporate it into my garden. Uh -huh. um, and just like the thrill of finding like a really old big plant. Yeah. Yeah. For an affordable price? Is that a for an affordable thing? For an affordable price, man. I don't There's know, man. Better. I love that. I I love I've, got, I've got a thrifting in my veins, eh? My mom is like Dude, straight a thrifting up. champ. So I love that. I love getting things for deals and like, you know, having, giving things a pre, uh, second life, you know? Yeah, man. I love a good bargain. Honestly, I'll, yeah. I'll always try to bargain, dude. If it's five bucks, 10 bucks, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll fucking lowball you, dude, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> not, not saying I'm a cheap ass or anything, but like, you yeah. know, I don't know. Everybody loves a good deal. Nothing wrong yeah, with that. Bro. Nah, hard. I'm I'm all about that. Eh? I'm definitely all about that. Cause you got that plant for forty bucks, right? Yeah, dude, I got it for forty bucks. That's crazy. Forty bucks. It was like sixteen feet tall. Uh, it was it was a pain getting it in through like my door. I, I definitely broke off a few pieces of it, but it made it inside. I've had it for like two years now. Wow, oh, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. So you have this photography background and like, do you think, I, I guess that's what Indefinite Studios is, right? It's like, yeah. you're, it's this incorporation of 
of uh, you know one uh, thing you're passionate about that has all these different uh, tools and skills with it and you're incorporating the um, gardening life that you're um, passionate about and, and has all these different skills with it and you're kind of bringing the two together right um, yeah definitely which is cool because I can see it in your in your just like your general lifestyle, right? You're merging that and like you know that's why people get into indoor plants is um, uh, to emerge it with their with their lifestyle. But you know you're kind of merging in all these different elements as well, right? Like not just the TVs, but um, I, I, I'm pretty sure we've got some shots of um, you know your pots hanging from the ceilings with different chains. Yeah. Um, can you talk to me a little bit more about that? Yeah, I've always been like very uh, like fascinated with like um, displays, right? Mm -hmm. So like photography and stuff like that. Just like how you, how you um, just like position things, how you clothe people and stuff like that like we would all when i was younger we would always go to the nurseries like here in yeah. town and do photo shoots there um no way how old were you yeah uh like 19 1920 yeah, yeah yeah when i like i would i would shoot a lot of lookbooks right so like yeah um like i was just like the, lookbooks yeah yeah and so like you'd, you'd, you'd do them like at that. the at these places Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like outside. Yeah, outside or you know, switch the environment. Go to a nursery. Uh, every place is different, right? And you get like a different feeling from everywhere you go. That is gonna like make you think differently or like capture a photo. Um, and it's just drawing inspiration, drawing inspiration from all of these different avenues. Yeah. So now with with like indefinite studios, you know, like. Uh, for instance, I made this shirt, right? And on the back, it's uh, it's like um, it's a layout of a house, and it just shows you like where to position like certain plants. Um, oh yeah. So That's just like cool. that, and then you just like the it, it's on the back of your t-shirt now. Uh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that's cool. What is that? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so what what is it? It's a, it's a plan for a house. Yeah, it's like a plan for a house, and it, it just shows you like where, uh, just based off of like the windows and stuff like that, where you can position them. Obviously, it's oh, going to be yeah. different, you know, for everybody's space, but kind of a, kind of a general idea. Yeah, man, that's cool. That's like real artistic. Okay. Eh? I'm just um other than like collecting plants and like stuff finding good bargains like i love upcycling things yeah uh so yeah i just uh pretty much like any anything that i could put a plant in like i'm gonna try to mm -hmm. so like the gumball machines um i, I want to get a really really big one like the six foot tall one right. uh right. that's like my next goal i'm on the i'm on the hunt right. for that um do you have any advice or anything like that other than um pipes i know you said um pothos is it pothos? yeah poth yeah pothos i so would say uh, i would say any advice is just start small um you know like uh yeah Plus start plant. small so, st start small some plants are gonna die um you're gonna figure it out you know based off of your environment yeah. and like watering cycles and stuff like that it's not all gonna be universal you know something that works for me may not work for somebody else um keep an eye on infestations uh i was talking when, when i would when i was uh driving around going to these nurseries uh the last lady i talked to like we were we were talking about infestations because i have one on one of my plants here at my house um and she was telling me that like ladybugs are amazing i've heard i've heard they yeah. are yeah for yeah. indoor plants yeah, yeah. killing aphids They'll and stuff yeah and apparently they're safe to use indoors um so that's something that i'm gonna definitely get into as well mm. get a few ladybugs in here um oh, yeah but i have to wait because the plant that was infected i sprayed it down with some oil, with some chemicals 
Okay. It was like it was uh, it was neem oil, and yeah. then I got this other stuff that, to put in the soil that basically the plant will absorb, mm -hmm. and then uh, these little critters that are eating the plant they'll die yeah. um, because they're a lot harder to kill when um, they're like hard shell and they're like a hard shell insect. I forgot what exactly it is, um, but yeah, just keep an eye out on that. If you see like little webbing and stuff on your plants, um, you know, just be cautious of that as well. And, you know, obviously if you get an infestation, um, quarantine your plants just so they don't Quarantine. spread out to all the rest of your garden. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, man, that's smart as. Um, I did that with um, and some aphids um, infestation I had on my swamp plants. They love swamp plants. Yeah. Um, but luckily I had them in one section and nothing else got them. Um, but yeah, man, that's some sick advice. So, um, um, it's cool what you're doing. Like, you know, I, I see some resemblance and, and um, like, oh, just what you're doing like resonates with me, like, because I'm real into photography and like, um, and I like, and like, even like some art direction stuff, like you're utilizing props and like, yeah, you know, to build different things. It's real cool, man. It's sick. Yeah, dude, Your it's house all about is amazing too. It's so impressive, eh? The jungle. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's all about presentation. Like, uh, I think, um, yeah, you can just go hard with presentation. That's why I have the TVs, you know, it's just like. I, I could have indefinite studios on on just like a freaking piece of cardboard or like a piece of glass or a piece of wood or I can get some TVs and like, you know, people are going to be drawn to that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like presenting things. Um, and yeah, I think like it, it all ties in with like my, my artistic side. It all ties in with what? With my artistic side. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can really see that, eh? Yeah, I think that was a good conversation. I'm a little nervous right now, honestly, so. Oh, it's chill, bro. I was nervous, too. Um, but um, um, it's, um, you know, like, I don't know. It's good to be nervous and do things, you know, that you feel nervous about, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta um, go. Like, I know, because that's the funny thing, right? We don't even know each other. And, yeah, dude, um, crazy. And I don't know about you, but I'm not like an expert. I'm, I'm just like a guy that's been gardening for a couple of years and my passion has just grown, you know? Yeah, dude, same. Like I'm, I'm no expert by any means, man. Mm. Uh, like anybody can do this, you know? Yeah. Anybody, anyone, anybody, right? yeah, anybody can get into this. It's just like about like, you know, having the heart for it. Uh, and you know, some people are going to have like a passion for it and others are going to be like, just, um, I don't know, just in intrigued by it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, just my last question would be just to wrap up would be, do you think there's any like mental health benefits to, um, to gardening, um, or anything that you're doing, like you're, you're not only gardening, right? You're creating and incorporating different elements of, um, creative practices, um, and you're kind of, um, designing things, right? Um, yeah. uh, as well as gardening. Um, but do you see any like mental health benefits and kind of like growing, growing things and like, um, yeah, I, I see a lot of benefits. I would say um, big thing is just like slowing down the time, you know, mm -hmm. like because because obviously I, I have I have a lot of things to care for like plant wise. So yeah. it's like, you know, taking those 30 minutes out of your day to like make sure that they're taken care of, that they're watered, you know, that their le leaves are clean and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's definitely helped a lot with just like uh, like recollecting uh it's helped a lot with recollecting and just like putting something before yourself yeah um and that's amazing i feel like that's helped me a lot just like you know to slow it down calm down and just like uh just like get into that flow state mm. yeah that's sick man that's cool so yeah, that's it. So it feeds into like other forms into of your life once you're in that kind of flow state. Um, you know, it feeds into different areas of your life because I guess you're 
you're happier, you're feeling more productive. Uh, would you say? Does it feed into yeah. other forms of your life? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I would say just the space in general, right? Just making like a home, like a, a home to somebody to me is like somewhere where I can go and just like be relaxed, you know, like yeah. not worry, not worry about the outside world, just like disconnect. Um, and that would usually be like nature to me, right? But yeah. I can't be outside all the time or like in the mountains all the time, you know, because we have like jobs and like lives and stuff like that. But when I when I come home, like, I don't know, it's 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 so nice to just like come home to like a garden and like something that's like alive and well. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we kind of just like simultaneously live and take care of one another. Yeah, man, that's beautiful way. Yeah, I really do think there is something there and like slowing down and like uh, learning about another life form and learning to take care of um, something else. Yeah, for sure. That's sick, man. Let's, um, oh, yeah. I'm keen to end the episode there, but, um, or the chat there, but yeah, like you said, thanks for being keen to, if I hit you up with any more questions. Happy researching, brother. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Thanks so much for your time, man. Honestly, um, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Eh? And um, yeah, it's sick getting your perspective of, of everything today. So thanks, bro. Yeah, likewise, man. Have a good day. Let's yeah. talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Thanks, bro. Later. Peace.